Okay, so here we have a question about using a conversion graph. And so we need to look at the scales of the graph first to make sure we understand what each little square represents. So we can see along the gallons um, scale, we've got five little squares, so I'm going for each whole one. So each little square is going to be worth 0.2. And on the litres, we can see that there are 10 little squares for each 10 litres. So each square is worth one litre. We want to be able to convert between gallons and litres, the way the question has been worded. So we need to work out how many litres there are um, in the 15 gallons, because that will then allow us to work out the petrol cost. So if we look at here on this conversion graph, we can see that it doesn't have 15 gallons. So we've got to look at some way of making up the 15 gallons from the known information. So lots of ways of doing this. We could work out what one gallon is per so many litres and then times that by 15. Um, that would give us a fairly inaccurate answer compared to what we could do because what you try and do with conversion graphs is look at doing the biggest conversion you can so that you can get the best accuracy. So to me if we go for 10 gallons we can see that it, the line, the conversion line goes straight through at 45 litres. So one fact we could use that seems to be quite useful is 10 gallons is 45 litres. Well, we want 15 gallons, so there's a nice relationship here that we could also work out what 5 gallons is. So 5 gallons would be half of what the 10 gallons uh, conversion is, so that would be 22 and a half litres. Um, we wouldn't round at this stage. Um, please don't make the mistake of rounding that to 23 because the question is about working out the cost and the cost has been given to quite a good accuracy of point uh, one decimal place so one decimal place values so we want to work as accurately as we can so we'd add those up to get the 15 gallons conversion so we end up with 67.5 litres of fuel being used now they're telling us that the petrol costs 120.9 pence per litre so if we've got 67.5 litres, then we could do 67.5 times 120.9. And that's going to equal, so it's a calculator paper, so we're going to get the calculator 67.5 times 120.9. That gives us an answer of 8160.75. <coughs> now we've got to ask ourselves. Um, what's sensible to write down as the final answer here. Um, it wouldn't be sensible to say that this is £8,160.75p. and um, You should be able to appreciate that to fill a tank of uh, petrol up for a car, if you're going to be paying £8,000 a time, uh, it just doesn't make sense. So you've got to be careful you get the correct units and you've got to remember that this question was talking in pence to start with. So we know that £1 is the same as 100p so if we share this answer down by 100, it will tell us exactly how many uh, pounds we're dealing with. So we're going to end up with £81.6075, but we realise that money, you can't write it as £81.6, because that doesn't exist, so it's going to be £81.61p, rounded to a sensible degree of accuracy for money, and that will be our final answer. And that, unfortunately, in today's world, is about how much it costs to fill up a tank of petrol. In fact, if you actually look at today's prices, of uh, actually it's 140 pence roughly per litre, you can see that to uh, fill up, um, it's a fairly large car, 15 gallons, but a large car's um, tank, then you're certainly talking about £100 uh, worth of fuel for a full tank of uh, petrol. Something to uh, query with the government at some stage.